So the time has come for a blowout. Wait, no, the time has already passed for the blowout. Oh my God, it's all over her back. I need your help more than I need a camera. But the time has come for Scotland's first transatlantic flight to Europe. And we are flying to the Netherlands and it is her first business class flight. And our first business class flight with a baby, so wish us luck. All right, so what is nice about flying business class, which we paid points to get these seats, is that you get access to the Polaris Lounge if you're flying United. Now, the Polaris Lounge is basically, it's like an old school lounge. You have access to everything. There's a restaurant, there's a full service bar, buffet, I think there's showers as well, and a nap room. But on this flight, we booked her a bassinet seat. So fingers crossed that we're gonna have this so that she can have a bed in business class that is a little bit separate from our beds in business class. I hope she doesn't get used to this type of travel. <laughs> So one of the reasons why I booked this specific seat, which is 9A, is it actually has a bassinet. This right here is going to be Scotland's bed. Now she can't be at it and take off her landing, but it's gonna be super nice because she'll be able to sleep, fingers crossed, while we sleep during this flight. So it's, but what's nice is this thing has a little mirror and a little net, and I think they've got like a little cushion or pad that they'll put down as a bed for. <laughs> she's excited. She's like, I don't know what's going on, but you're excited, so I'm excited. Oh, you're both out down. Whee! We've been fortunate to fly on many United Business Class flights. <laughs> so we've been fortunate to fly on many United Business Class flights, but never with our little baby girl, Scotland. So this is just a dream of mine, and I'm so excited and I'm hoping that she'll sleep on the flight. If you're flying with a baby, I highly recommend booking the bassinet seat on your United Polaris flight. Now there are certain seats that have the bassinet built into the bulkhead in front of you. So you're gonna wanna book a bulkhead seat, but I recommend that you call United first and say that you're flying with a baby and you want to see where the bulkhead seats are on your specific business class flight. We are flying on a triple seven today, so the bassinet seats are going to be in rows one and rows nine. But on 787s, it might be different, so call United to make sure. Now, if you're in the business class seat, the bassinet is yours. Now, if you're in economy, it's first come, first serve, so get there early, talk to the gate agent, and score your economy bassinet. If you want an economy bassinet seat, you are going to also need to be in the bulkhead seat. <laughs> This should be a fun flight. <laughs> so we knew this was going to be tough. We don't really know how we're gonna get Scotland to sleep because she might be at the max capacity of the bassinet. Getting in, getting her in there while keeping her asleep is gonna be very tough. So this might be a little game of pass back between mom and dad. I don't know. We knew this was gonna to be tough, but we'll figure out a way. At least we got a good dinner. This has not been fun. Um, the past 45 minutes, 
he can't seem to really calm Scotland down. With all the normal ways of calming her down by feeding, bottle, breastfeeding, rocking. She's just been very fussy, and it's because she is way overtired. I don't hear any noises over there, Glad to see, so I think she's having a little success. So the flight was a success, but before we go over a rundown of all the positives and negatives, I want to talk to you guys about Cuts. So if you guys have been following along, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Cuts has become basically my go-to travel clothing for basically any situation. Not only does it look good when you're just basically out traveling, but also it's so nice you can wear it out at night. And then a third benefit is it doesn't really wrinkle. And guess what? Now Cuts has women's clothes as well. And we want to extend the gift of Cuts to you. So click the link below and use the code Romaru for 15% off. Okay, now back to the plot. So I think what we learned from this is one, the options of basically everyone sleeping on the flight is probably not gonna happen. The other thing was, it was a good thing we had backup solutions for getting her fed and getting her to sleep. So having a pacifier, having a bottle, we're also breastfeeding because sometimes she doesn't want the bottle or she doesn't want the boot. And I think the final thing is just patience, overall patience, because it's going to be a tough journey no matter what, even when you get there if everyone's left, because then you're going to have some jet lag to deal with. But was it worth it? Oh, it was a good idea. I was just very tired on the flight when I said it was a bad idea. But the good thing is she slept, and that's what matters, and hopefully her jet lag won't be too bad. <laughs> 